Hi, good day everyone. Today I'm going to discuss temperature and heat. The terms temperature and heat are often used interchangeably in everyday language. However, in physics, these two have very different meanings. First, let us define temperature. Temperature is a quantitative measure of hotness or coldness of a body. A body that feels hot usually has a higher temperature than a similar body that feels cold. Many properties of matter that we can measure depend on temperature, from the length of a metal rod, from the volume of a hot glowing object, these all depend on temperature. Also, temperature is related to the kinetic energies of the molecules of a material. Temperature requires a device. To measure temperature, we will use a thermometer. So, how does a thermometer work? To measure the temperature of a body, we place the thermometer in contact with the body. Say for example, if you want to know the temperature of a cup of hot coffee, you just stick the thermometer in the coffee. As the two interact, the thermometer becomes hotter and the body cools off a little. After the thermometer settles down to a steady value, you can read now the temperature, and the system has now reached the state of thermal equilibrium. So what do you mean by thermal equilibrium? Two physical systems are in thermal equilibrium if there is no net flow of thermal energy between them when they are connected by a path permeable to heat. It simply means that if we have two systems, system A with temperature Ta and system B with temperature Tb, these two systems are in thermal equilibrium if their temperatures are equal. So meaning, the temperature Ta must be equal to the temperature Tb, and that is thermal equilibrium. Thermal equilibrium also obeys the zeroth law of thermodynamics. So we have to take note that there are three laws of thermodynamics. The first one is we have the zeroth law of thermodynamics. The zeroth law of thermodynamics states that if C is initially in thermal equilibrium with both A and B, then A and B are also in thermal equilibrium with each other. So to make a useful thermometer device, we need to mark a scale on the device with numbers on it. So there are three scales that we know. First is we have the Celsius temperature scale, which is in degrees Celsius. The Fahrenheit temperature scale and the last one is Kelvin temperature scale. We also have these conversions from Celsius to Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit to Celsius and also the Kelvin. So you can actually convert uh, from Celsius temperature scale to Fahrenheit temperature scale and to Kelvin temperature scale using these three equations. Some informations that we know or we must know are these. First, the boiling point of water is at 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. The freezing point of water is at 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And the absolute zero temperature is at 0 Kelvin or minus 273.15 degrees Celsius. Absolute zero temperature is the lowest possible temperature and that is at 0 Kelvin. So there is this story of these two persons named Lord, Lord Kelvin and Anders Celsius. They are in a room with zero pressure. Of course, they will die in reality, but let's assume that they, they will not die. But they, uh, they move in a very slow motion since there is no pressure. The pressure is zero. So, they're talking. Anderson said to K 
Kelvin. How are you, Lord Kelvin? And then Lord Kelvin replied, I'm okay. And that ends the story. So, let's go back to our discussion. Let's have examples on conversions of temperature scale. Say, for example, convert 37 degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. This is very simple. Just use the equation, the conversion equation from Celsius to Fahrenheit, and that is equal to 9 over 5 times the temperature in Celsius plus 32 degrees. You will get 98.6 degrees, degrees Fahrenheit. So the 37 degrees Celsius is equal to 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. How about minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit? You convert this to degrees Celsius. You will use the equation, this one, and substitute the minus 40 degree. You will get minus 40 degrees Celsius. It means that minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit is also equal to minus 40 degree, degrees Celsius. Next is, let's talk about change in temperature. So when a body cools off or when a body becomes hotter, then, then there will be a temperature change. And we denote temperature change as delta T, where delta T is equal to Tf minus Ti, where Tf is the final temperature and Ti is our initial temperature. So what will be the consequences if we change or if there is temperature change in this lecture in this lecture we will discuss only two consequences first is we have thermal expansion and the second one is we have heat gain or heat loss so what is thermal expansion most materials expand when their temperature increase bridges for example need special joints and supports to allow for expansion. So thermal expansion, it is a change in physical dimensions when subjected to change in temperature. This thermal expansion also contributes to an increase in global sea level because water, if you increase the temperature of the water, for example, then there will be an increase in its dimension. And the equations for thermal expansion, we have three. First is the linear thermal e expansion, which is equal to delta L is equal, equals alpha, L naught, delta T. Area thermal expansion, we have this. And Coulomb thermal expansion, is we have this beta. Beta is equal to three times alpha. Okay, beta is equal to three times alpha where delta L is the final minus initial length, delta A is area minus area initial, and for the change in volume, we have volume final minus volume initial. And this alpha is just a number, and it is called the coefficient of linear expansion. So this is a table with different material and we have different coefficients of expansion at take note 20 degrees celsius so for aluminum we have this they by the way the unit of the uh, coefficient of linear expansion is degrees celsius to the negative one or per degree celsius okay think about it you have two stack glasses that are now seemingly impossible to separate. Now, someone proposed to use the hot water and cold water to, se to separate the two. How should it be done? Okay, so in order to separate these two stack glasses, you first, you put the glass at the bottom in a walk in a hot water so that it will expand and then put a cold water in the glass at the top so that it will um, shrink and then these two stuck glasses will 
now separate okay example for thermal expansion say a surveyor uses a steel measuring tape that is exactly 50 meters long at a temperature of 20 degrees celsius the markings on the tape are calibrated for this temperature now what will be the length of the tape when the temperature is increased up to 35 degrees celsius this is very simple this is an example of linear thermal expansion so the solution is we have the equation for thermal linear thermal expansion is this delta l is equal to alpha l naught delta t where alpha for steel is constant and that is equal to 1.2 times 10 to the minus 5 per degree celsius given the initial length which is equal to 50 meters and then the change in temp temperature from 20 to 35 degrees celsius so basically 35 de degrees celsius is my final temperature and 20 degrees is my initial temperature so the delta l for the change in uh, length is equal to 0 0.009 now take note uh, the problem is to solve for the length of the tape when the temperature is 35 degrees celsius so it basically means that you need to calculate the new length of the tape this is this is the change in length and from this we can solve for the new length which is equal to this one since the change in length is equal to the final or the new length minus its, its initial length which is equal to 50 meters so using algebra the l the new length is equal to delta l plus l naught and that is equal to 50.009 meters so that's thermal expansion that's a linear thermal expansion so next to thermal expansion we have this quantity um, called heat but i will discuss this in my next lecture video before we end this video i want you to answer three problems and that will be your assignment to be submitted anytime so for question number one a steel tank is completely filled with 2.8 meter cube of ethanol both the tank and ethanol at a temperature 32 degrees celsius when the tank and its contents have cooled to 18 degrees celsius what additional volume of ethanol can be put into the tank so in this problem you will use the equation for volume thermal expansion okay for number two, we have one of the to tallest buildings in the world is the Taipei 101 in Taiwan at a height of 1671 feet. Assume that this height was measured on a full spring day when the temperature was 15.5 degrees Celsius. Now you could use the building as a sort of giant thermometer on a hot summer day by carefully measuring its height. Suppose you do this and discover that the Taipei 101 is 0 0.471 foot taller than its original height what is now the temperature assuming that the building is in thermal equilibrium with the air and that's that its entire frame is made of steel last question is we have an aluminum rod is measured with a steel tape at 25 degrees Celsius its length is found to be 75 centimeters what will the tape indicate the length of the rod to be when both the tape and the rod are at first zero degrees celsius and second at 50 degrees celsius again you have to answer these three problems and submit it anytime in my or in our google classroom that would be all thank you and god bless